Hello, and welcome to today's video. So I've been wanting to make some more needle felt projects, and I wanted to do something with Jack Skeleton's face. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and, you know, make that out of needle felt, but I'm like, well, what's the purpose? So I thought it'd be fun to do one big enough where it could be kind of a decorative pillow on my left seat down here in my art room. So in today's video, I'm going to make a needle felt Jack Skellington decorative pillow. Before I got started, I went ahead and printed off some reference pictures of Jack Skellington's face, and I got my fiber fill, my needle felt uh, white and black ready for this. So I'm going to start off as I do with any of my larger needle felt projects and I'm gonna do a polyester fiber fill base so if you haven't watched my other videos the reason why I do this is polyester fiber fill is cheap compared to the wool roving so it works really well to build up your shape and you can use your needle felt needles to do that and you can see here I've got my round jack skeleton head shape done and now I'm gonna cover that with the white wool roving now I use several different types of needle felting needles and I use these tools that'll hold multiple. Now this green one here has three needles in it and then this larger, thicker, shorter one has, I think it's either nine or 12, I'm not really for sure. And so you can cover a lot more area faster, um, but you lose the precision that you have with the ones that have, you know, like two or three needles in them or even just using one needle. I very rarely use one needle. Um, the pink one off to the side there has two in it, and that usually works pretty well for the detail work if I need to go a little bit less than the green tool that has three. So um, I'm just using my white wool roving and covering this entire polyester fiber fill base. And it's a little harder to tell how well it's covered with the white underneath and using the white wool roving. But, I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world if it's a little thinner in spots, especially if it's something you're just doing for yourself. But I just pretty much covered it so, you know, I can notice any of the polyester fiber fill th showing through. Now that I have that done, I'm going to use my reference pictures to get his face uh, placed out. So I'm going to start with his left eye and... I'm using the top right picture that has him just kind of just kind of a happy face and I'm just use my three needle tool to get that placed and then I'm going to do the same thing for his right eye. Um, notice in the picture his right eye is a little bit bigger so I'm doing that and you can see it by the three pictures of Jack all his facial expressions his the shape of his eyes and stuff and size between them vary. And then I'm doing the same thing for his nostrils, but I'm just using that two needle tool there because they are pretty small, but I just kind of rolled up some black wool roving and placed it where his nostrils would be and then just use that tool to play, you know, to hold them in place. With his eyes and his nostrils in place, I can go ahead and do his mouth. So I just took some black wool roving and kind of rolled it up a little bit and then I'll use the three needle, needle tool uh, to attach his mouth. Now, while I was doing this, I thought that it didn't look quite right, but then I thought, well, maybe just because it doesn't have his teeth, you know, it looks more like a smiley face, which obviously, I mean, it is, but you know, like those smiley face stickers. But the more I looked at it, I realized that it was way too high up on his, on his face. So I went ahead and pulled that off, uh, took some more white wool roving to replace that that kind of came off with the black. So it's easy enough to fix little mistakes like this. I just, you know, like I said, take that white back over it and then go over it with the multi-needle uh, tool and then kind of just touch up the whole thing, kind of smooth it back out and get me back to where I originally started with. And then this time I decided to go ahead and use the three-needle tool to kind of bind those fibers together a little bit before I put it on the face to kind of maybe make it just a little bit thinner. Um, I wasn't worried about it too much, but I didn't want it to be too thick. And then I used the three noodle tool again to apply it to the face, this time a lot lower 
uh, down. And this, I think, has a lot better look. Even without the teeth, I think this looks a lot more like Jack. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the teeth. So I use the same technique where I just rolled it out the wool roving. Use the three needle tool to kind of bind that together. And then I cut it off into little sections. And then each section I'll apply with the three needle tool. And I just use my reference pictures to see how they are on his face. I mean, they're just drawings on, on these, even though the puppet was like a claymation puppet in the movie. But this worked um, to represent kind of the line drawing version of him, where these were kind of more on top. But as you do needle felting, like as you add these colors in, these colors, like the black, is going to sit a little bit indented compared to the white. So it has a really good look and it works for this character very well. So I just have a few more of these to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of add a little more black to this eye. And then I'm just going to go over the whole pillow and kind of touch it up. You know, see any strands or any parts that seem a little bit loose. And then uh, I noticed on this right eye, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. I just thought his eyes just seemed too small. So I added a little more to that. And then he's got these little creases under his eyes. And I thought that added a lot to it. it makes him look more like Jack and less like just a smiley face. You know, the generic smiley face sticker. So I think I'm pretty happy with it. Um, looking at it now, I realized that his left eye was a little bit small and I know like I said they vary quite a bit in the pictures but it just didn't look right to me so I went ahead and added a little more black around his left eye and once I did that I thought you know this really captured the look of the character and I was pretty happy with the overall look here so I'm just gonna go through um, tighten up some of the spots that seemed a little bit loose and I think that's it looks pretty good this is certainly one of those projects you could keep messing with but you just kind of have to know when to stop so i'm happy with this so i'm going to stop here and here is the finished needle felt jack skeleton decorative pillow i hope you enjoyed this project if you want to see more decorative pillows please leave it in the comments down below and let me know on who you'd like me to try um, it'd be fun to do several of them and kind of fill up the couch with them it was a pretty simple project to do. It took a little bit of time, but had a lot of fun doing it. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and remember, never stop creating. Bye!